Kelly from Best Buy Canada's blog, and this week I've been testing out the Arlo Pro 3. So the Arlo Pro 3 has 2K resolution, a 160 degree field of view, as you can see from the camera, and it has auto tracking. So if it recognizes um, that there's movement, it will track. The, the set movement. of Arlo Pro 3 cameras that I tested out, they came in a two piece set or two camera set and it also came with the new smart hub. The smart hub has a USB port on the back as well as it has uh, the kit includes the chargers for the cameras. You can use those chargers in the house if you want to keep the camera plugged in um, and it has a few mounts. I already have the Arlo Ultra, so I already have a smart hub. My smart hub actually has an SD card slot instead of a USB card slot so that you can store your videos locally, but you could just plug in an external hard drive to your Arlo and use it that way. I have several Arlo cameras and I've always found that adding these cameras to your smart home is very easy. The app makes it very simple. Uh, you can add them to the smart hub after you've connected the smart hub to the app. But you can add them uh, manually or via the uh, Smart Hub finding the camera or you can press the sync button on the camera. This is just a view of the camera, what it looks like when you take it out of the casing. This is how you would charge the battery. Every time you charge the battery, you have to take it out of the casing. It's very easy though. The charger makes it very easy and within a couple of hours, you're back up and running again. The Arlo Pro 3 has a range, like most Arlo cameras, of about 300 feet from the base station. That's the range where it should be able to pick up video. I have this camera placed out in my field and it's approximately 70 feet from the base station. I'm still maintaining one bar, but I do notice that it's not as easy to connect to as it is to connect to the one on my deck. This is an indoor outdoor camera. This camera can be used in all types of weather. You can use it up to about minus 20 and about uh, for summer about 45 degrees. So if you're going to use it outdoor you will use the wire free uh, battery option and that battery should last between three to six months. On the front of the Arlo Pro 3, you'll see that there's a light. That light will illuminate when there's motion detected. You can set it to do that. It's also a great uh, visual aid at night, so it can light up dark corners if there's uh, something in front of it that it wants to get a clearer shot of. The Arlo Pro 3 also has a siren built in. So here's just a little demo of what the siren sounds like. As you can hear, it's pretty loud, so I would think that that'd be a pretty good deterrent for anybody who was in your yard that wasn't supposed to be. Here's a few samples of the auto tracking. As you can see, the camera was tracking my dog Rosie as she once again leaves my yard the way she's not supposed to be. Sometimes the auto tracking is a little delayed after the motion is triggered, uh, but for the most part I found it was very quick. It was within two seconds and I had a notification on my phone. Within the app, when you receive a motion notification, um, it will tell you whether or not that motion was a person, an animal, or possibly a vehicle, and uh, or if it can't detect what that motion is. The other pretty amazing thing that this Arlo Pro 3 has is color night vision. That color night vision, as you can see here, and I'll share another clip with color night vision, it just lights everything up so well that you don't miss any detail that you might if you were just viewing in black and white. Here's just a quick look at the Arlo app. So my cameras are all lined up. This is where you can see a 2K live stream. You can also record, use the two-way audio, uh, view in night vision during the day anytime. You can view two streams at one time and you can also activate the siren. You can also view all of your clips, all of your saved clips. In order to continue to save clips to the Arlo cloud, you'll need an Arlo smart subscription.
the three month subscription, a trial subscription with your Arlo Pro 3 cameras. You can sign up for a year or pay a month at a time. Uh, it is $12.99 Canadian for up to 13 Arlo cameras and 30 days of cloud storage. That also gives you access to all of the smart features, including auto tracking, the notifications that pop up with an image, as well as the notifications that tell you what it's tracking. So if it's an uh, animal or a car or a person. I think the Arlo Pro 3 is a great camera. I think that this is the camera that Arlo has been working up towards for quite a long time. I've, I've had all of the Arlo cameras and I'm running the Arlo Ultra right now in my yard. I find that this camera is more responsive than the Arlo Ultra and it could just be because it's streaming at 2K resolution instead of 4K. Um, I've got them a little bit closer to my house maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But overall, these are great cameras. If you have a smart display like the Google Nest Hub or an Alexa-based hub, you can use these cameras uh, with voice control. So you can stream your video straight to your Google Nest display. In my books, Arlo has always been a winner and the Arlo Pro 3 is no exception. You can see my full written review of the Arlo Pro 3 on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching.